the past couple of months we've been having a lot of commemorations of the different Ajahns who passed away to remind us that okay, we're not going to be in this world much longer. And the question is, what kind of good are we going to get out of our lives as human beings? We think about the Ajahns, the great teachers of the past, who have been able to make something of their lives because they practiced and they developed the qualities of virtue, concentration, discernment, to find what it was in their minds that was creating suffering and how they could stop it. They set a good example for us because this is a good meaning that we can give our lives. Some people wonder sometimes, what is the meaning of life? But life has the meaning you give to it. So what kind of meaning are you going to give to it? Is it going to be eating and sleeping and eating and sleeping and then dying? Or is it going to be something that accomplishes something? You look at the world outside and you wonder about the accomplishments outside. You try to make a change in the world and it may have an effect for a while, but then things change back again. So you wonder where anything gets accomplished. Well, that's where you have to look in the mind. You can accomplish things in the mind. This is why we train the mind to meditate, like right now. Close your eyes, focus on the breath, and try to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. Each breath as it comes in, each breath as it goes out. Let the breath be comfortable as a way of developing concentration, as a way of developing mindfulness and alertness. Because it's mindfulness and alertness that help us remember what's right and what's wrong. And alertness is what allows us to see what we're actually doing, to see if it falls in with what's right and what's wrong. And if it's not right, what we can do to change. So these are the qualities we have to develop to purify our hearts. This is one of the teachings that Ajahn Fuang left behind. But the whole purpose of the practice is we want to purify the heart of its greed, of its aversion, of its delusion, all the ignorance and craving that creates suffering. These are things that we can clean out of our hearts if we train them. And this is what gives meaning to life, because a pure heart is a, is a happy heart, and it's a heart that gives happiness to others as well. The heart without greed, aversion, and delusion doesn't cause any trouble for anybody, and can give advice to others as to how they can clean up their hearts as well, so they can find it, the brightness of the world. Because there is some brightness that can be found within the mind when you clean all these things away. As that chant we had chanted just now, it says, all sankaras, all fabrications in the body and the mind, everything that's put together, these things are inconstant. They arise and they pass away. When you allow them to finally pass away, because that's when you find real peace. That's where you find real happiness, because you find that there's something that's left over when all these things pass away. There's something that doesn't change, something that doesn't alter, something you really depend on. But you have to find it by cleaning out the mind. Wherever you see it, you're acting on greed, aversion, or delusion, just learn how to drop it, learn how to drop it, and get the strength you need from the concentration and discernment you develop in meditation so that you can do that. And that way you can find this brightness. As John Fuang said, his, his life started out, he was just a peasant son, orphaned at an early age, there wasn't much hope for him. And then he found a good teacher. And as he said, a teacher showed him the brightness of the world, that there is something really good and valuable that be found as you dig down into the heart. So try to look for that brightness within yourself by training it virtue, concentration, discernment, the things that clean away all the, all the mess in the mind. So you can find what's of real value deep down inside.